Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you, Carlos. Hi, Elmer. Hi, Ellie. Hi, good evening. How was your weekend? Good evening, my dear teacher. Fine. Hi, what about good. you? It was good. Thank you. Echivo. How do you say Echivo? I don't know. <laughs> Great. Cool. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was cool, right? Yeah, all right. Elia, no si enfermita? No, ya no. Gracias a Dios. No. So, all right. So, where's everybody today? Everybody's a sleeping hot. It's a Monday. I know they are tired after the weekend. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So we're going to begin section. What section are we beginning? Three. three right? Very good. Three. three. Remember that we have this week and next week and we're finished. So the next level that you're going to go to is going to be pre-advanced one. Oh, my God. Are you excited? I'm happy. Super, super fast, eh? All right. Okay, guys. So let's talk about adjectives. We're going to talk about adjectives, okay? Did you watch the platform? No. No, Eli? El Elmer, did you watch the platform? Carlos, did you watch the platform? Yes, teacher. Excellent. All right. Did you pay attention no. to the teacher? <laughs> <gasps> Carlos, what happened? <laughs> me me voy a poner al día. Okay, very good. Hablando de eso, ¿cómo van con los ejercicios de la plataforma, Carlos? ¿Avanzado? No, esta semana lo voy a tomar. Ah, ok, sí, porque ya está, estaría en la sección 3, ¿verdad? Y acuérdense que solo es esta semana. Esta y la otra, obviamente, pero siempre se va como bien rápido, right? El 20 terminado, Patricia. Eh, permítame, no. quiero ver. Sí, el 20, de hecho, sí, sí, el 20. Clinton, ok. Ok, very good. Rápido. I know, very good. ¿Y usted cómo va con la plataforma, los ejercicios? Mal. What happened, Eli? Why? Mucho, tra mucho trabajo al yeah. inicio de año, teacher. Sí, that's true. I know, I know. Eso sí, lo comparto. <laughs> Pero okay. esta semana me pongo al día. Very good. Ani, Eduardo, hello, how are you? Hello. Hello, hi, thank you, thank you. Nice that you're in class. Annie and Eduardo, how are you doing with the platform and the exercises? Are you doing okay? I yes. am in the Mr. Uh, Excellent, okay, very good, Eduardo, thank you. And Annie, what about you? I'm finishing the second section. section. Okay, very yes. good, all right, nice, good for you. Okay, so Carlitos and Eli, you have to work a little bit, okay? Yes. Okay, very good. So for Annie and Eduardo, you just got in. We're going to be talking today about section three. Okay, so that's what we have um, for you guys today. Section three. Have you watched section three or not? No. Um, no. Okay, that's okay. Don't yes. worry about it. Yeah, you have. Very good. Okay. Hi, Kadiel. All right. So we're going to talk about this. This is what I have for you. If you have watched the platform, we are talking on the platform about adjectives, okay? Now, remember that adjectives, they are, for example, beautiful, for example, ugly, for example, fast, for example, um, short, small, those are adjectives, okay? But we also have adjectives that are formed of, pa of participles, okay? that they finish in ed or they finish in ing okay so i have i have this um hold on oh no 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 i want to show you something else here okay okay i'm gonna work with you guys right now here okay so here we have adjectives Hold on. Adjectives. Okay, so these are the adjectives that we're going to be working on. We have, in this case, we're going to work with adjectives, 
adjectives which finish which finish in ed oh and adjectives which finish in ing all right those are the two uh, verbs i mean the two adjectives we're going to study today because that is the topic of section three all right now do you have any idea when to use adjectives with which finish in ed and adjectives which finish in ing do you understand that or do you want me to tell you or do you have any ideas MPI teacher, do you know what's the MPI? No, pero me da miedo preguntarle. Okay. <laughs> <Then it's, laughs> yes. Okay. So let's work. I'm going to give you these two sentences and I want you to tell me if they mean the same. Okay. Hola. Can you see those two sentences? I am going. Yes. I am bored and I am boring, okay? Now, my question is, do they mean the same or do they mean different things? Different same. Okay, so let's see that this is number one. This is sentence number one and this is sentence number two. So which yeah. one, what does number one mean and what does number two mean? Give me the meaning, yeah. explain to me, uh-huh. And in the first one is say I am bored. It's am in the bored? past. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. in the, it's in the past and, and finish. Aha. Uh -huh. In the in the uh, number two <clears throat> is yes. uh, I am boring. I uh, sure. maybe start in the past, the, but it's uh, at this moment uh, past. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. Wilmer, I uh huh. For example, if if I watch a movie, it, it's, it's, I am boring because ah. uh, the, the, the time is, is current, it's, it's uh, okay. not finished, but it All was right. yesterday, I say I am bored watching the movie. Okay, so, okay. Teacher. Yes, the, the thank you. Uh -huh. Yes, continue. First, the first yeah, sentence is not, no, is no in past tense uh -huh. because, uh, the verb is in present. That's right. Very good, Annie. Excellent observation. Now, guys, we're talking about adjectives. We're not talking about verbs. Okay? Now, they look like they are verbs because we're using ED. Yes? And I'm going to hide this. Mm -hmm. Go on. Yes, tell me. Yeah. Yeah, for example, when you use a uh, adjective finish in ID, you express ID? mood. ID, okay. you express mm -hmm. mood. Okay. And Very when good. you use ING, mm -hmm. for example, characteristic. Okay, yes. About okay. the something, yeah. person, or object. Yes, okay, we're, we're getting it there, okay? Very good, okay. So it's very good that you give me ideas because I that's how I see that you understand it or not, okay? So that's very good. So number one, you need to know that these are not verbs. These are adjectives, okay? They are called participles. The one, if you saw the video on the, uh, on the platform, so that these are made of participles, all right? They come somehow from a verb, but they are adjectives right now, okay? Now, this uh, board, I'm boring, these are adjectives, and they tell you two things. When you talk about I am bored, yes, it's, it is the reaction or the response or the result of something. If you say I am boring is the cause of that feeling. Do you understand? Guys, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yes. yes? Okay, let's let's maybe yes. with this one you Oscar. will. Okay. Adjectives ending in E D and I N G. Remember that we're talking about adjectives. We're not talking whoops, we're not talking about verbs here, okay? So here we have, hold on. Oh. 
Okay, here we have, he is bored and these books are boring, okay? Now, um, Annie, can you read the explanation here where it says adjectives that end in ing? Can you read that, Annie? Yes. Describe the characteristics the characteristics, of a uh -huh. A thing or a situation. It causes a feeling. It a feeling. Yes, it causes a feeling. <coughs> Excuse me. A feeling. <coughs> the book, oh my the yes. books are boring. Yes. We are describing a characteristic of a characteristics, book. yes, of these books. A characteristic uh -huh. of this book. What do these books cause? They make people feel bored. Bored. Okay. So the ing adjectives, they are the reason or they are the cause of the emotion. Okay. Adjectives that any in, in ed, Eduardo, can you read that? Describe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adjectives uh, that end in, in ID, ID, in ED, ED uh -huh. describe a feeling or an emotion. It is how we feel about something. Excellent. Continue. He is bored. He this is, is. This is his feeling right now. This feeling was caused by the books he is not going to be born for eternity yes he feels poor for now it is temporary it is temporary okay so the ed adjectives that is the um Emotion. the result all right uh -huh. feel uh -huh. for example you say yeah. um if you watch an interesting movie, you feel excited, you feel overwhelmed, you feel thrilled. That's how you feel. What caused that feeling is the adjective of the movie, for example. The movie was amazing, the movie was interesting, the movie was i don't know like fascinating yes so the uh, you have to remember the ing endings is the cause the ed is the feeling or the reaction or the result of something okay yes okay Any yeah. so so or or no Any? yes yes okay very good let's keep on reading here let's see what else i have here Daniel Mendez, can you read the examples that we have at the bottom, please? Is it a Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Example sentences. Yes. Compare the difference. I am tired right now. My flight was tiring because it was a 12 hour flight. Okay. Public toilets are sometimes disgusting. Very good. Disgusted but the smell of them your speech was inspiring 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 i now inspired to do great things with my life excellent you see it says for example your speech was inspiring now i feel inspired okay so this is the cause this is the the result yes the the, the reaction you understand that Yes. Yes, or so, so. <coughs> a ver, regresemos so, so. a este ejemplo que está aquí. Decíamos, I am bored or I am boring. ¿Qué le estoy diciendo yo si yo le digo, I am bored? Que yo estoy aburrida. Que no, aburrida. Are... Estoy aburriendo. Que estoy aburrida. Aburriendo. Num, no, que okay. en number one, I am bored, yo estoy aburrida. Ajá, sí, ajá. y en la en dos, en la dos que... yo soy aburrida. Sí, así es. Pero no soy, ¿verdad? Ya ¿Sí? <risa> <risa> sabía yo. Dale It's example, no don't course. worry. Thank you. <risa> okay. No lo dije yo. Ajá. 
when we need to be careful yeah. porque a veces usted está aburrido o aburrida y dice I am boring está mal dicho en inglés tiene que decir I am bored porque si usted dice I am boring usted es una persona que eh, no hace nada que no es divertida que no es interesante usted es una persona totalmente aburrida ok la otra es que usted se siente aburrido en este momento no es que sea aburrida yeah? Eternity. For eternity, yeah, very good. Okay, so you need to be careful. Este es el resultado. So this is the result. Yo me siento aburrida porque, I don't know, me siento aburrida porque la clase está aburrida. ¿Verdad que no? No, no. Of course not. <laughs> it's only an Entonces sería, I am... I am bored because the class is boring. Bored because the class is boring. That's right. Very good, Ellie. And this one is the cause. Oh, yeah? the teacher is boring. Oh, come on. Ah, no. Oh, it's it's example. Don't worry. It's example. Okay. ¿Quién me dijo eso, Eduardo? It was you, huh? Yes. Si no, no. No, Eduardo, en el otro nivel, no, no. No, no, don't worry. Okay. And so, bo boring es como que fuera un estado. Sí, pero permanent. permanente. Es ah, permanente. Okay. Pero la es la característica, ¿verdad? Es la característica. Exacto, sí, sí, sí. Y, y es como que usted fuera la del aburrimiento de todos los demás. Como que se esté describiendo. Ajá, exacto. Exacto. Usted dice, por ejemplo, I am tall, I am shy, I am intelligent, and I am boring. Ajá, uh -huh. right. un escritor yes. es aburrido. Ah, it's a boring. You know, sure, ok, yeah, ok. For me, of okay. course. Ok, of course, very good. Ok. Ready for the exercise? Ready. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Okay, guys, let me see this here. Hold on. Uh, where is it? Where is it? It's here. Okay. I'm going to share this with you. Y quiero que vean esto también, que esto es importante. Let me see here. Vamos a hacer un poquito más chiquito ahorita. Okay, vamos a quitar esto de aquí. All right, let's see. Here we have, mire, can you see? Yes. Yes. ¿Quién es el compañerito que tiene 9, 1, 3, 4, 3, 4, 9, 3? ¿Cómo se llama? Uh. No, no, no. Un, hay un compañero. Marley, dos. ¿Quién? Sorry. I don't know what that's my name. Ah, ok, yeah, because I didn't recognize you. Ok, that's ok, ok. So we have, look at this one. Can you see? Yes? All right, Gadiel, can you read describing feelings? Gadiel, no? Okay, describing feelings. It says ED describes an effect or a result or a, or, um, or the outcome of something. Hi, Rosie. Yeah. And ING describes the cause. For example, you say teachers are always overwhelmed with tests, okay? Ahora, we say that ED or ING adjectives, usually we use them, usually after verbs, after the following verbs. Be, become, feel, get, grow, look, seem, and turn. So you can say, for example, I am alarmed, or I feel alarmed, or I become alarmed when something happens. She is frustrated, she feels frustrated, she seems frustrated, she looks frustrated, you understand? Con estos verbos lo vamos a anteponer al adjetivo este, ya sea adjetivo usándolo con ed or ing, you understand that? Guys, do you understand? More less. So, so. Ajá, ¿qué ah. pasó? ¿Por qué more or less? A ver, díganme para ponerme de tener y poderles explicar mejor. Yo no entiendo qué vamos a hacer con, con la tabla. Nada. No tabla, ahorita nada, nada Elita. <risa> <risa> ok, ahorita lo que estoy haciendo es como enseñándoles, enseñar, estoy enseñándoles esta tabla que son ejemplos de los mil y un eh, adjetivo que se puede convertir con ED o con ING y siempre o por lo general o usualmente van eh, seguidos de estos verbos. ¿Ok? 
Entonces usted dice, por ejemplo, está el verbo be y yo me siento alarmada. I feel alarmed. O yo estoy alarmada. I am alarmed. O digo, eh, parezco alarmada. I seemed alarmed. Yes? Mm -hmm. O yo digo, um, eh, vamos a ver. Eh, Elmer is surprised. O Elmer feels surprised. O Elmer looks surprised. Entonces va a depender de lo, obviamente, lo que usted quiere expresar. Si él se ve como que está sorprendido, si él está sorprendido, si él se siente sorprendido. Entonces estos verbos siempre los siguen este tipo de adjetivos, ya sea en ed or ing. Yes. Teacher. Hola. To alarm when I am G. And what is the meaning? Alarming. Uh -huh. For example, you can say the storm is, or the winter is alarming because it's got a lot of rain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so como alarmante. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, Mar Granados, Marlin Granados. Uh -huh. No, nothing. I think all is clear, I think. No. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay. Sí, hoy sí entendemos, Eli. Sí, sí, sí. Excellent. Rocío, Carlos, Carlos, Emilio, questions. Elmer, Daniel, do you have any questions? Gadiel, do you have questions? All is clear. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So, because, Rocío, yes? No, 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 it's okay. Okay, very good. Okay, <laughs> so now because everything is so clear, okay, and you guys understand and you guys are the best, okay, so now you have exercises. Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. so let's do this. Um, hold on. You know what? I want you to take some pictures so you can work on this right now. Hold on. Take a picture of this chart. Right now, take a picture of this chart porque con esos verbos van a trabajar, o perdón, adjetivos van a trabajar abajo. With those yeah, adjectives. I, I... Yeah. Okay. Now, let's take a picture of the exercises. Lo voy a hacer como pequeño porque si no, no me lo va a caber. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, take a picture right now like that. So you can take a picture of exercise number one and exercise number two. Finished? Okay. Okay, now take the last picture of exercise number three. Yeah. Finished? Yeah, finished. Yes, oh, okay. So I'm gonna stop sharing right now and we're going to go to our groups, okay? All right, guys, so I'm opening up all the rooms right now. So please accept the invitation and go to your group. Annie, Carlos, and, Emi and Daniel, you're working together. Elmer and Eli, Eduardo and Rocio, and Gadiel and Marlin. Annie Garay, yeah.
Hi, Walter. Hi, good morning, teacher. How are you, Walter? I'm very good. So, uh, I, I, I am so late. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. All right, Walter, ahorita están sus compañeros trabajando en esto, pero antes de mandarlo a los grupos, lo voy a levantar para que no se sienta como perdido. Okay. All right, estamos viendo esto. A ver, permítame que la hice está. Ok. Estamos en section 3, Walter. ¿Puede ver, Walter? Sí, sí. Ok, estamos en la sección 3. Y estamos hablando de adjectives. Ok, si usted ya vio la sección 3, okay. there, are, there is this topic, que son adjectives, that they finish in ed and they finish in ing. They are not verbs, yes. okay? They are adjectives. You, some of them, for example, ED is in the past, past participle, and the ING is the present one, okay? But that's not the main point. The main point is the use of these adjectives. For example, when you say, I am bored, which they finish in ED, that is the result of something that caused you to be bored. If you say, I'm boring, that is the cause. In Spanish, we say, estoy aburrido y soy aburrida. Si usted dice, ay, yo soy aburrida, I am boring. Yo causo que usted esté aburrido. All right? Ahora, si yo le digo, yo estoy aburrida, algo causó en mí ese, sent ese sentimiento o esa sensación. ¿Ok? Sí. Entonces, decimos acá, tenemos adjectives that end in ing. They describe the characteristics of a person. A thing or a situation, it causes a feeling. En los adjetivos con ing son la causa, ¿ok? okay. Del, del okay. por qué usted se siente aburrido, del por qué usted se siente emocionado, del por qué usted se siente abrumado con tanta cosa, ¿ok? Adjectives that end in ed, they describe a feeling or an emotion. It is how we feel about something. He is bored. This is, the, this is uh, his feeling right now. This feeling is caused or was caused by books. Él está aburrido porque los libros eran aburridos. Ok. No es que él sea aburrido. Ok. Mm -hmm. So, he, this is the, like the same, for example, your speech was inspiring. I am now inspired to do great things with my life. Ok. So, su, um, su lección o su charla fue in, como inspiradora. All right, ahora yo me siento inspirado o inspirada para hacer great things in my life. Hay una causa y hay un efecto. Okay, so the okay. cause is always going to be ING and, is, and the ED is going to be the result. Okay? And then, uh, Walter, we're also working with this right now. We'll show you. Right now, eso es lo que están haciendo sus compañeros. Están acá. Okay. Con esta, este cuadro, si gusta, tome la foto porque es lo que lo voy a mandar a hacer ahorita. Este cuadrito es un ejemplo de muchos adjetivos que se pueden convertir con el ED o con el ING. Y son por lo general acompañados de estos verbos que están aquí. Be, become, feel, get, grow, look. For example, I can say I am amazed by... Um, by the story, okay? Or you le digo, I feel amazed when I uh, hear you speaking, all right? Or I look amazed when I see the, um, I don't know, the pyramids, okay? So, va a depender de lo que usted quiere decir, pero por lo general, se esos adjetivos, ya sea con ed o con ing, se siguen le siguen a estos verbos, ¿ok? En, obviamente lo conjugo, ¿verdad? Si usted hablando de alguien, he is, o he feels, o he looks, ¿ok? Y esta, okay. Ese, eh, con este cuadro van a trabajar, están trabajando los ejercicios, tomenle foto a these exercises right now. Ahí, tomenle foto al 1 y al 2, y ya le voy a terminar de subir el 3 para que lo vea bien. Okay. And this is number three. Okay. All right. So I'm going to send you right now, Walter, to your group. 
Okay, so that you can join them, all right? Okay. Thank you, Walter. Thank, thank you so much, teacher. Ya le mandé la invitación, Walter. Ok. Marlene, from high school. Marlene. Hi. Hi. ¿Qué se me había hecho? Ay, tuvimos un pequeño inconveniente con los de inglés corporal. Corporativo, me habían dejado fuera. ¿Verdad? Yo decía, ¿dónde está sí, esta niña? <risa> pero me peleé con, con, ahí con los muchachos para que me hicieran. <risa> ah, bueno. Está sí, bien. De hecho, de hecho, me ingresé ya ratos y, y estaba dando un muchacho la clase. Y yo dije, qué raro. Y ninguno de los con los que hemos empezado. Ajá. Y me salí, luego me volví a meter y ya me apareció usted. <risa> no sé qué ah, aquí sí, dijo usted. Aquí es entonces. <risa> ah, bueno, pero qué, buena ten, qué bueno tenerla con, con nosotros otra vez. Ay, thank you, Miss. <risa> right, how are you guys doing? What number are you working on um, right now? Uh, the number uh, three. three. Number three, number okay. Three. Okay, very good. I feel rather... Okay. I feel rather when she asks to sit next to me. I feel rather the oh, feel um, confused. confused. Huh? I feel rather confusing. Mm -hmm. With mm. Edie? Confused. Mm -hmm. Confused. When she asks. Mm -hmm. She told me she was a little bit um, worried. When? Surprising. When I go. Hi. To Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. ¿Y por qué estamos usando un traductor? Sí. I no, I, I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like, no. <laughs> okay. I guess you that's have okay. some doubt. All right, yeah, that's fine. Okay, what number are you guys working on, Annie, Daniela, and Carlos? We are on the number two and the exercise one. Number two, exercise one. Okay, Number right. two. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Yes, Thank right. you. Keep on working. It's okay. She was. She was. Satisfied. Oh. Uh, maybe satisfied. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, my dear teacher. Hello. Could you, could you Hello. Help, help us with the help number us? four? Number four, she told me. She told me she, she was, was a little worried. Mm -hmm. She was. Uh, exercise three. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she was she, when she won the contest. I didn't believe it at first. She was amazed or she was uh, shocked, maybe. Shocked when she won uh -huh. the she was surprised. Oh, oh, no. huh? What's the shock? She was shocked. They have to walk over the, the 40 kilometers to get home. Mm -hmm. He was excited. Exhausted. 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 When, exhausted when so. he arrived. Excellent, very good. Wow. There are a lot of. Y tengo a los tres de antiguo ingreso. Igual te dan el. Los que molestamos más los de último año. Los de último año. There are a lot of. Pero la teacher ya no me quiere. Ya ni me contesta los. 
los mensajes. Necesito, no digan eso. Ahora le escribí. Ya ni no tengo el número. ¿Cómo eh. sería la última, Walter? Eli no, no tiene, tiene el número. No. Bye. Ya lo voy a dar. Bye. Park. I, I don't, uh, see. Eli, revisa su chat. There are, there are a lot of chocolate. Chocan, choking rights. And they are most of okay. pork. But some there of them are too scared for me. Yeah. What are you talking about, Elmer? <laughs> Mi idea, teacher. Elmercito, y antes, ¿por qué siempre lo veíamos? And now we don't. Y Eli también, solo a Walter veo. <laughs> Como ya no me quieren. Ya, ¿pa' qué? Oh, whatever. <laughs> hey, what happened yeah. with... Um... Es que no, es que no, no and, the, and the number six, teacher. Six, teacher. Ah. <laughs> and the number there six. Are, there are uh, a lot of... Uh -huh. There are a, a lot rights. of... Maybe. Exciting rides right. at the amusement park, but some of them are too scary for me. I think exciting. Okay. Exciting. To you, yeah. Right. Elmer, you're terrible. Sorry. Le dieron copia a Walter de los demás, porque Walter entró después. No. Dele copia a Eli. Vaya. The first the one. Exercise one. Excite or satisfy. I don't remember what is the last one. Hi. Right. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hi, Eduardo. Are you? Hello. Fine. How are you doing? What number are you working on? I, we are finished the, the last one. <laughs> oh, very good. Nice. There are a lot of exciting, exciting, excited, exciting, exciting rides at the amusement park, mm -hmm. but, but some of them are too scary for me. Excellent. Sounds good. We are finished. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna give like one more minute because I have two groups that are not finished, okay? Okay. Thank you. Was it difficult or not really? So, so. Uh, <laughs> it makes yeah. you think, huh? Uh-huh. Yes. That's good. Yes, That's the idea. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, Mirika, ya casi terminamos el módulo. Next week, can we finish? El módulo uh, tres. Sí. Really? Yeah. Me falta el cuatro y el cinco. The section mm -hmm. four and five. No, 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 no. O sea, sí, pero lo terminamos entre esta semana y la otra. Pero digo, todo el intermedio tres lo terminamos next Thursday, el 20. Mm. So we have two more. I mean, this week and next week, and we're finished. It's really. Yeah, it's fast, very fast. Very fast, mm -hmm. yes. Are you going to continue? Yes. <laughs> very good, Rocio. Yes, yes. Eduardo, yes, are you? Me too. Excellent, very good. But in this in this time, I don't, I, I am not sure to to present to the class to the to the exercise and the and I am. I have a, a do to continue, but mm. in this in this in this uh, uh, month, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I afford to to continue, and I am I think I I will be continue. You will continue, okay. All right. Yeah. Nice. Good, Eduardo. Very nice. Good choice. <laughs> okay. All right. We're gonna go back. I think everybody's finished. We're going to check the exercise right now, okay? Okay. All right.
All right. Everybody's back with me. Yeah, I think yeah. so. All right, very good. Did you finish? Everybody finished? Yes. Somewhat? Okay, very good. Okay. So let's check this right now. Let's see. Elmer. Uh, Elmer, can you do number one? Exercise one, question number one. Use the right adjectives, E, D, or I, N, G. Choose the best option to complete each. Oh, Elmer, each sentence. Yo no me acordaba cómo era. En serio. <laughs> All right, very good. Ajá, Elmercito, number one. Number one. My most desiring experience as a teenager was traveling to London on my own. I remember was so tired that I couldn't, I couldn't sleep the night before my flight. Maybe. It's... My most exciting experience as a teenager was traveling to London on my own. I remember I was so tired. So, what? so excited, excited, right? Excited. Excited. So my most exciting and I oh I was exciting. so excited. The first one is exciting and the second one is yes. excited. Yes. Excited. Excited, yes, very good. No, thank no, you. Ah, que no puedo dormir en la... En la... Ajá, because I couldn't sleep ah. the night before. Ah, the okay. Flight. Ah, Madre okay. Mía, qué bonito. I know, isn't it nice? Oh, yeah. All right, Eduardo, nice. you do number two. Gracias por contestarme mis mensajes. Eduardo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I was really surprised. Sí. Ah, seguro. Surprised. Yes, I was really surprised. Uh -huh. When I got to the airport and found out. Found that, out. Mm -hmm. Found out that Julie, the, the, the girl I like most from high school, was traveling with me. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Very good. Okay. So I, I was, <laughs> I was really surprised. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Number three. Number three. I feel. I, I feel felt, rather. I, I feel rather. I feel rather. I feel rather confusing mm. when she asked. I feel rather confused. Confused mm -hmm. when she asked to sit next to me. Okay. Did she feel the same way as I did? Oh my goodness, very good. Annie, number four. She told me she was a little bit worried about the flight. Very good. Uh, continue. Let me see who I have here. Uh, Rocio, five. Five. I advised her to listen to some relaxing music. Soon we both felt more relaxed. Ex relaxed. Relaxed. Very relaxed. Good. Very good. Uh, nice. Walter Guerrero, number six. Walter, Walter. Yes. Hello. Number six. Okay. Uh, I learned. I learned lots of English and found found out that Julie was interested in in me. Wow. My state. My state in London was extremely amazing. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, very good. Carlos Emilio, number two, exercise one, or question one. Complete the sentences with an adjective, ed or ing, or the verb in the right verb tense form. Okay, Tom is, is really. Carlos Emilio, your mic is off. Exciting. Tom is really exciting. 
Ah, or driving yeah. his special electric car. Okay. Do you think he's exciting or excited? Excited. Excited. Very good. Tom is really excited about driving his, his specially adapted he's... car. Very good. Daniel Mendes, number two. He is really interesting in traveling. He mm. won't have to depend on his parents anymore. He's really interesting or he's really interested? Mm. That's the cause or that's the effect? Mm. What do you guys say? Interested. Interested. In traveling. Yeah, interested. Have a to depend on his parents anymore. Very good. Let's see who else I have again. Elmer, can you do the next one? I know, where's Marlene? Marlene and Eduardo. Eduardo, ya leyó una. Did you read one? All right, that's okay. Rocio, can you read number, number two? Oh no, number three, sorry. Number three, some drivers park in places reserved for disabled parking? Yes. This annoying me. No. no. This annoyed me. Annoyed me. Annoy me. Oh. Because that's, oh. that, that's, the how, that's how I feel when I see people parking in disabled parking slots or places. Oh, it's an effect. Yes, of course, it's a consequence uh -huh. or a result. All right, very good. Uh, Walter okay. Guerrero, number four. Uh, let me see. Uh, finding, finding a place to, to park is very frustrating. Excellent. Uh, for choppers when they're in a hurry. Excellent, very good. Carlos, Emilio, can you do exercise three, question one? I went to the concert. To the YouTube concert, uh -huh. To the concert on Saturday night. It was absolutely... Absolutely? Absolutely uh, amazing. Okay, it was absolutely amazing. Sure, it makes sense. Number two, Eduardo. Uh, Sally isn't um, is a, uh, isn't interested. Excellent. Interested in uh, uh, in football. She thinks it's a stupid game. <laughs> All right, very a good. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, Ellie, number three. That, number three. That was, that was a satisfying, satisfying meal. I haven't eaten soup. Good food in a long time. Okay, so that was that was what satisfying or satisfied? Mm -hmm. Satisfied. Satisfying. Satisfied. Satisfying. Okay. Yeah, that was a satisfying meal. I haven't eaten such good food in a long time. Very good, Elmer. Can you do number five? Oh no, sorry, number four. She was shocked. When she won the contest, she didn't believe it at first. Very good. Okay, very nice. Annie, can you do number five? They had to walk over 30 kilometers to get home. He was exhausted. Exhausted. Exhausted when he arrived. Very good. And Marlene, number, seven, number six, sorry. Mm. There are a lot of talking right at the amusement park, but some of them are too scared for me. 
Okay, there are a lot of um, exciting is better, I think, Marlin. Okay. There are a lot of exciting rides at the amusement park, but some of them are too scary for me. All right, I'm gonna show you this one here, just so you can take a picture and make sure that you have it right. These are the answers. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. Here you have the answers for amazing also or exciting all right as long as it makes sense it's okay this can be like some of the uh answers some of them may change and it's okay the idea is for you to get it right okay that it makes sense okay all right okay so guys before we go did we understand the topic or we have some questions if you have questions Please ask me right now. Especially Teacher. for the people. Yes, uh -huh, Walter. Can you please, uh, uh, can I see the, the, for the screen that you, I, I need to, to take a picture. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This one, Walter, hold on. For the, for the answers. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, just give me a second. Just give me a second here, Walter. I don't know where I put it. Oh no, Walter, wait. Mm. All right, hold on, Walter. I'm coming right now. My goodness, it doesn't want to work there. For yes. some of the, as I said, Walter, for some of the sentences, it may change a little bit because of the meaning, but other than that, it's pretty much the same, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, any other questions, guys? Uh, teacher, why the, the noise, annoy, the, is yeah. a noise? It's a, it's a mistake, it should be annoyed. It's, it's a mistake. Yeah. It's a mistake. Yeah. What On is the, the right right answer? Annoyed. Ed. An I know. It's okay. annoyed me. Yes, because we're that's what we're studying right now. Okay. Annoyed. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? More questions? No. More. No? no more. No. Okay. No. Tomorrow the idea is we're gonna practice. We're gonna have like another. Uh, short exercise just to practice the ED and ING. A veces como que nos cuesta, ¿verdad? Pero creo que aquí lo importante es entender que uno es la causa y el otro es el resultado. ¿Sí? Para que podamos como entender cuándo ocupo ED y cuándo ocupo ING. Ok. All right, vamos a hacer un ejercicio mañana. Nomás entramos a clase y luego seguimos con la sección 3. All right. Perfecto. Okay. That's yeah. very good. Si tiene que ponerse el día en la plataforma, porfa, empiece a hacerlo porque ya casi terminamos. This week and the last one. Y se va súper, súper rápido. All right? Yeah, right. Yes. Okay, okay, guys. Very good. Good night. Good night. Thank good you so night. much. I'll see you tomorrow. Night. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night.